Hi, this is Charlene Chamberlain, and you're watching and listening Front Row. Front, watching and listening to Front Row. My guest today is Rhonda Magner. She is a Reiki master. She's an empath, a spiritual intuitive who not only works with people but also with animals. And um, she does animal energy healing, orograph readings, card reading, psychic readings, just about anything in that realm. Welcome, Rhonda. So nice to have you on the show today. Thank you. I'm so excited. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. Um, My first question is, when did you discover that you had this incredible gift? Okay. I believe it is an incredible gift. It is a gift. It actually is a gift. And um, I'm very thankful that I have the opportunity to use the gift and to bring healing to people and animals as well. So I believe it started, it had a start, I think it was probably in the womb. But being born an empath is something that, um, it's not an easy feat. It's not something that's necessarily, you go through life. It's, it's a difficult thing being an empath. Um, I remember being maybe two or three years old and having adults speak with me. And they would say something and I'm thinking, you're saying that, but that's not what you're really feeling. Wow. Or that's not what you really mean. So um, that was one thing I started noticing. And it kind of, it's, it helps with... Um, develop trust issues actually Mm -hmm. I shouldn't say it helps it hurts it you know because you realize you're seeing one thing but feeling another thing from these people yeah and I guess and being so young how can we even verbalize what's really happening exactly and I guess that must have been very confusing as a child too and you want to separate yourself I always felt that I never necessarily fit in with a group of people oh yeah I I have that too Mm -hmm. I know definitely when did you really start to develop these abilities, though? I mean, did you do it as a child, or...? They kind of happened on their own, and as I got older, I started... I had an infinity yeah, towards, I guess you could say, more psychic things. Mm-hmm. So I would um, go in that, you know, in that direction. And I started wanting to know, at, as, as a preteen, wanting to understand like psychic abilities and ESP and just mm-hmm. kind of so I used to read all kinds of books and and real and you know try to figure out how I could develop that because I felt as if I had that so um, as I got older life kind of got in the way and you know children came and I even though the gift was always there and I always had that sense of intuition I always knew things would happen before yeah. they happened or mm-hmm. just that sense of knowing um, and then when I got older and I started seeing my children had the same gifts, and especially my youngest one. It, Is that it, your daughter? Yes, my youngest one, the baby. She'll, she'll be, the baby's going to be 17. Mm-hmm. But um, So I wanted to help her so she could feel confident and secure in what she's doing. Right. So I knew that I had to, once again, revisit that part of my mm-hmm. life again. So And it just, it just grew and exploded, and it's, it's been very awesome, and I feel very blessed for it. So tell us a little bit about your company, it's called One With Spirit, and what do you do? Well, actually, um, it's something that's been developing, and I decided to have this website so that I can kind of be, you know, more out there to people. What I do is I do psychic readings as well as mediumship, so, um, you know, not everybody is a medium, but most people can be a psychic, so Mm -hmm. you can do both. And that's what I do, and I use that gift to bring healing to people. So my goal is to give them messages that are uh, messages of love and encouragement to help them move on because a lot of people get stuck in a place and they need somebody. They need to know that they have loved ones that have passed that are there to still support them. And that they're okay as well. Exactly. And that they're fine, you know, whether, Mm -hmm. you know, some may have committed suicide or died in Mysteriously or not even know. Right, yeah. exactly. So it's and when they hear from their loved one that they're no longer in any pain or they're not suffering or maybe that their suffering was very quick that they mm-hmm. didn't have to go through the different things that we hear on earth, people on earth, and we are earthly feelings. Right. You know, we try to, you know, we don't have to deal with that. Right. When they're past, they don't have that, and they don't no. no longer have those earthly mm-hmm. feelings. So everything is beautiful. Right? There's no. They're totally pain free. Exactly. Exactly. Absolutely. So it's nice to do that. So you do one-on-one sessions, and I think you told me earlier today that you also do group sessions as well. Right? Absolutely. Yes. Um, the one-on-one are beautiful. I mean, you can really. Um, 
you know, you, you blend with their energy, you're able to bring healing to them, whether it's psychic or mediumship. Mm -hmm. um, also, too, with Reiki as well. I will do Reiki on um, if that's necessary or if that's something they want. Let's talk a little bit about that. Tell our listeners exactly what that is. <laughs> okay, Reiki. <laughs> Reiki is um, it's a form of energy healing. Okay, so we have different meridians in our body. We have right. different chakras, mm -hmm. energy fields, and everyone is energy. And some, you know, sometimes that energy gets out of whack. Not sometimes, mm -hmm. most of the time. Most of the time, <laughs> most of the chakras are imbalanced. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So what I would do is I don't necessarily manipulate it, but I allow that life force energy to move through me as an open channel so that I can help even and mm -hmm. calm the energy. Right. And it brings healing. It's sure it healing, does. Mental how, healing. How long does a Reiki session last? It depends. I like to work with them for at least 20 minutes, but sometimes it may go on longer. It depends mm -hmm. on what kind of issues they're dealing with. And a lot of times when I do the Reiki, I will get messages for them. So it helps. It's, a lot of times we have physical issues yes. that are because of our mental issues or things that we have blocks in our life. Absolutely. So it's all connected. So. And with Reiki, you don't really lay your hands. I mean, I guess you can, but most of the time, it's not really a laying right. of hands. It's really an energy field over the body. Absolutely. They don't need to be touched, and mm -hmm. some people may feel uncomfortable. I know that I wasn't com I've never had a massage done, not till recently, but for years I felt uncomfortable. I didn't want someone touching me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so some people don't, you know, they may have had some trauma right, in Right, and life. they don't want to be touched. Exactly. Right? It does, you do not have to, and plus you get to keep your clothes on. You know? right. Well, that's you know, probably some people, yeah, that's another thing too. <laughs> yes, it's good for us on our end, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. So, you know, and make them feel comfortable on a, um, a table that I have. And, right. you know, I play nice music for them to listen yeah, to. Very relaxing. Sometimes I burn incense if they can tolerate right. it. And I use essential oils while I'm doing that as well. So, What about the animal energy healing sessions that you do? What can a pet owner expect if they were to bring a dog or a cat or a rabbit that had an issue to you? Okay. Um, I can give you a perfect example of a pet that I now own. Okay. Um, when when you're working with animals, they have the same chakra system basically mm -hmm. that humans do. They do. So you're gonna you're doing the same thing with the energy. And some animals don't want to be touched. And some of them have been yeah. through traumatic experiences sure. as well, been you know abuse and so mm -hmm. forth. So you have to really be intuitive and aware of what's going on with the pet to know whether they need how they can be touched. And yes. so there you would definitely give that you would have it would be healing touch or maybe not even touch them, just do it from a distance. Yeah, while well, they're in their cage. Yes, or it doesn't carrier. or they're being held by their loved one. Mm -hmm. So their mom or their dad's holding them and you know, we can do the Reiki. Um, I had an animal, a cat who um, was out in front of my home for the longest time and would never come in and every time I would see it I would just put food out for yeah, it sure. and it would look at me and it'd run so I really felt bad and I started doing Reiki from a distance so eventually the cat came onto the step and then I would be a little bit closer to the animal mm -hmm. and do Send Reiki. some more energy. Exactly. Yeah. Well now the cat lives in my home. Oh my gosh. I'm able to carry her around the home. Oh, she wow. follows me around and it that is and that took about two years yeah, of Reiki. I'm sure. But there was a difference. And it doesn't mean that that's what's going to happen with everyone. It doesn't necessarily take that long. Right. It depends on the animal. But sure. this was an animal who was actually a feral cat and mm -hmm. now is in my home and is part of the family. Wow, that's a great story. It is awesome. A really heartwarming story. Mm -hmm. um, I see you brought some things with you. Let's, sure. let's talk about what you brought. Okay, well, um, I use tarot cards. They're one of my tools I use. Everyone can use tools. You don't oh, yeah, have to. Them. Yep, okay. these are. They're adoring virtues. Yep. They're beautiful cards. They're very pretty. Mm -hmm. And they're edged in silver. And they're very, very pretty. They have really good energy and good mm -hmm. messages on them. I don't read cards traditional way where someone would say, you know, they know what uh, two of cups means or, you know, two of swords. Right. Um, I let the cards tell me a story. Mm -hmm. um, people get a little freaked out sometimes by the word tarot. I know. So I like to use, it's, these it's are angel, right. <laughs> I know. So they're, um, right. these are angel cards. And I have to interject here. Do you know that Queen Elizabeth was considered a witch? Really? Like, the real original Queen Elizabeth mm -hmm. because she was into this type of stuff. Right. Wow. Yes. I watched, and so uh, till today, right? <laughs> yeah. And you know what? No, it's it's really a, it's amazing how how far back it goes. This actually goes. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to do some research on that now. 
That's yeah. fascinating. Check it out. So I will. And so um, these are a one set of cards. They're very beautiful. And they have messages on the other mm -hmm. side. These are another, these are actually a tarot deck that I use. They're, they're kind of worn because I use them so often. Mm -hmm. But they, I started off with an original deck. I still have it. And every time I feel led to buy another, so I have a collection of them. Yeah, I do too. But I, <laughs> you can't help I it. I know. And the cards oh, are so, I buy them for the artwork. That's the it. So that's, I have oh a beautiful set of angel cards. Oh, them. see? That's yeah. what I do too. I'm like, I But now I like them. these, so I may have to get these. <laughs> <laughs> you could, you, you know what? You can have them. They're, they're no. yours. So. <laughs> no. But, um. Well, let's pull some cards. Okay, sure. All righty. So. But I can. I wanted to tell you that I also can use buttons or ribbons. Oh, that's interesting. You can use Thanksgiving stuffing to do a reading. <laughs> My grandmother did tea leaves. Tea. Okay, there you yeah, go. She did the tea leaves. <laughs> so um, let's see. Let's do this. We'll do real quick. We will give you a um, a real mini mini. This is a message from your angels. Oh, okay. I like that. <laughs> I hope I have some up there. Yes, you do. We all do. We have guides we have loved ones that watch over us and protect us as well as angels they're assigned to us from the moment we're born oh i know okay so i'm going to divide this for you and i'll let you pick one okay Over. pick one because mm -hmm. we don't want to we don't want to do a 45 minute reading. no here we go <laughs> <laughs> all right so this card it's really um this is a beautiful card actually it's three of water. I don't normally read what it says on the front mm -hmm. of the card. I usually would go by my intuition, but I feel like I have to read this. Okay, it go says, ahead. a celebration, a wedding, graduation, or birth announcement, the need to have more fun. So what this card is telling me is also, if I was to read this intuitively, is that there, you're kind of stuck where you are right now. You're not necessarily enjoying things the way you should be. You're not giving yourself enough time, and you're not, you need to spend more time on yourself. And you need to allow yourself to have more fun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, and normally I don't read what the card says because not all of my right. cards have a message, but I right. felt that that was important for you to hear. Well, thank you. And it, and it, what's also nice about it is it shows you water. So mm -hmm. I really feel that that would be something that would be, you know, that you probably have a, a desire to be at the beach or you should spend more time at the beach. Yeah. Salt water is very healing. Mm -hmm and um, that you need to take some time for yourself. Yeah, okay. you're right. Because you have a lot of emotions that are building up inside mm -hmm. of you and you're not able to express them. So you're, everything is being held inside and you're jamming them uh, inside. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And we'll stop there. Okay, then. stop there. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Well, thank you. Thank you. That thank was you great. For me do you that. ever work with a pendulum? Absolutely. I see you brought. I one. brought my adventuring That's pendulum, cool. which is really um, good for the heart chakra, and it's good for emotions, mm -hmm. and it's good for healing. And I do, I do work with this occasionally. Mm -hmm. well, actually, almost every day, so it's not occasionally. That's awesome. It's a great, yeah, it's a great pendulum. Do you ask it a question? And what's your yes and no? I know. Well, you have to orient it every time, but I'm always the same every oh, yeah. time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, never ever does it deviate from that. That's so, cool. Yeah, that. yeah, it's pretty interesting. A lot of people have to do it, you know, every time, and it's different every time. But right. I, mean, I, I know it's always the same. So, how about crystals? Do you use crystals? At I all do. For I'm I'm learning more about crystals because I feel that I'm starting to see how important they are with healing. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I know the, some basics, but I probably should learn more. And that was one of the things that I decided that at, at the end of the summer, in the fall, that I'm going to start to study more about the crystals. And I never really all this stuff kind of came easy to me. And I did learn. I had teachers that taught me, right. but um, now I feel like I need to be more dedicated to actually learning more things and and um, being more diligent I guess you could say in sure. study in the study of different types of um, healing tools and crystals are definitely one that's oh absolutely fun. and you brought me a feather yeah oh. what's happening with the <laughs> well, feather I, I kind of fell out of my bag but oh it did <laughs> yeah but so it's it was okay an accident on purpose it was yeah, yeah it was awesome because um like I said you can read anything it, it's not necessary there's so many tools that you can use mm -hmm. but it's really the intuition and your connection to spirit that gives right. you the information so right. I teach a psychic development class and in, in the class, I teach my students how we can use anything. Mm -hmm. So I have a bag of feathers that I bought at the store. And I literally will shout, bring the feathers out, and I'll help teach them how to read feathers. Wow. That's Just like buttons, I use buttons. Ribbons can be used. Mm -hmm. um, anything. Like I said, I, I brought out my husband's toolbox one day and 
dump the screws and the nails out on the table in front of someone and I did a reading for them. Wow, just that's it's, pretty it's, amazing. <laughs> well, it's just like I said, it's the connection. It's not, Yeah, it really is. That's mm -hmm. just a vehicle. Exactly. Really is. Yep. I mean, we do love all the beautiful and pretty cards and everything, yes. but you're right. It can be anything. And this is nice for people to see because you can tell them something, but when they see it with their eyes, they see that card that I told them that things are going to work out great. Everything's going to be everything's going to work out they need to hear that mm -hmm. and when they see that card sometimes I tell them to take kind a picture of, of it right it. they could see that they could see the picture right. they remember that the sun was shining in that picture and there was blue skies and right. rainbows and butterflies you yeah. know so you, you know when but, I got to interject again you know back to the Queen Elizabeth stuff <laughs> because no, those tarot cards are more of a modern way you know Back then, they read rocks, Your ruins, uh, bones, or yes. mm -hmm. feathers, clouds. Like that. So yeah, you're really that's really really. Let's do let's do one original. for Keith. Okay, let's have Keith sure. Pull one. All right, you're gonna have to pull one. Oh boy, you, you have to come over here though. Like it all. I'm afraid to. Uh, should we do the the, yeah, the yeah. tarot, the regular sure. tarot? No, okay. no, no, oh, no, he no, wants no. to. He's like no. He wants an angel <laughs> card. I don't. I don't. Okay. I don't want to know anything. He doesn't want to know. All right. I so, like the angel cards. Okay. We'll do You're an safe with angel cards. Yeah, I'm okay. safe. I don't want those. You know what? Because I think from the movies, uh, you know, that's people roll it yeah. and they say, oh, this is the death card. I've never, uh, that's one thing. Death card doesn't. No. Death card's yeah. actually death, a really good card to have. It is. Yeah, so it's a great, right. And the devil card is a great card Yes, it is. Have. Is that why? And my numerologist said my 666. I was born That's on 66. the back of your head? You were? You were 666? My, my, my driver's license is 666. Oh, my. Because I was born in 66 and then whatever 66. Then, <laughs> then you're flat. She said, you're fine. You're, you're fine. fine. You're good. You're protected. You're good to go. Yeah. Definitely protected. Okay, so I'm going to just divide them for you. And we're going to use this pile so we don't have so many. All right, so it's not going to tell me to take it. I'm going to tell you, right. all my messages are love and encouragement. They only come from love and light. Okay. All right, as long as it tells me don't pick the purple cards. <laughs> okay. So, um, okay. Well, so I see this. There's this, if you can see the card, this is water again, too. King of water. And I, I feel water. like you are, right now, what I feel is there's a lot of stuff going on around you. You have things going in different directions. <laughs> and um, you, you know, you are, but you are the king. Like, you're the, one, you're the one that's putting this out there, and you're the one that's bringing it to you. You're the one that's being this creative person. And I understand your position, so that's kind of like, but I can tell you that there's a lot of stuff that's going on around you, and it's a lot of drama. There's a lot of drama that's going on around you. And I could tell that by the water. There's so much drama on I could write a book right now. I know. Oh, things boy. that are going on. And, um, and, it want, and it also has to do, you have a relationship that you're having issues with, too. Okay? And, and, but I'm going to tell you what the card says so that you, you know, I, it's going to work out. I'll let you know that. Because what I feel about this card is that you're getting control. Because I see, okay, the gentleman has his it's the, his body language in the card that shows me that you're going to have control over the situation, that you are rising up out of it, just to let you know. So I want to give you encouragement. It says, King of Water, trustworthy, compassionate, respected, cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice and charity work. <laughs> oh, definitely. So maybe this so is, much, that's I awesome. I do so much give back. It's yeah. That's awesome. Insane. Everything I do, I, I feel he like does. I heal the world Aww. by what we're doing here. Right. I always say that I want to change the world. Oh, that's so cool. That's a cool motto. People say you gotta keep be, you. You have to be in healthy mind and spirit in order to help more people. Absolutely. So that's why I think I'm coming out of it because I'm I'm learning to help myself first in order to help. You can't people. give to other people if you don't have. That's right. That's right. So same thing for you. I know. Well, it's it's uh, pretty. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, well not, you know what? Cards never lie. Not too many people have ever said, uh, well, you know, uh, relation, this is the second time that someone said something about it. Mm -hmm. It's just not where it should be. Right. This relationship. It's, it's and it's not a pro and it's not necessarily a priority to you right now either. No. Mm -hmm. But it's connected it's to there. my world. It's there. It kind of drives you. World. Yeah, I, and, it, and it's... Um, and, and I need to help myself in order to help even help that. Absolutely. Or... or, or control that. Oh, well, that's it's pretty interesting. Yeah, it is. It is. Mm -hmm.
Well, I got my patchouli on. <laughs> so I don't care. You need the your power time. Right. The power time. Right. Right. Yeah, that's I'm right. Gonna, you know what? I'm going to open up my shirt and have a little pee right here. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, now. Uh-oh. Could a pee tattoo be on the way? Pee, pee tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, Rhonda, how can our guests find you if they would like to schedule a session with they you? They can go to my website and they can and contact And the website me. is? Is www. What, the number one with spirit.net. Right. I do. I want to ask you one more thing. Sure. Didn't cover. What are autograph readings? I oh. know that you do autograph readings. I've heard a little bit about it. Could okay. you explain that? Absolutely. They are messages given to the person that's you know that the the person that comes to me wants advice or needs a reading or some type of encouragement, and it is done through art. So the symbols that I get, I actually draw them out. And it's not something I do right in front of them. I would probably meet with them, or I would even just do through email or Skype, okay. meet with them one time, just have an opportunity to talk to them, to hear their voice, or just to even see their picture, because I've mm-hmm. done it through picture as well. And I sit there, and I wait to see what kind of symbols I get. And do you it, go into a meditation? Yes, I will them? meditate first. Mm-hmm. Um, meditation is the number one key to any yes, of this. Yes, it is key to everything. Um, you, it's key to life. Really. It is. It really yeah. is. It's very calming, and I I look forward to it, and I'm finding myself doing it more than one, two times a day. But, but I got a question. Sure. Do you think that the average person knows how to meditate? No. No, It's and it's something that you do have to learn. It's difficult. It really is difficult for myself because I have ADD. My mind get, I'm, I, it's like squirrel, you know, and I'm there. Yeah. So, um with me, it took a while, but I find that the guided meditations in the beginning were something that were very helpful. They are helpful, and you know, I think you know I've been doing it for quite some time too. And when I miss it, I feel like I you do. miss it. You do, yeah. And really it, do. it doesn't have to be forty-five. People are under the impression that you have to meditate for a half hour, forty-five minutes or longer. Yeah. No, it's you not don't. true. It could be five minutes. It doesn't. There shouldn't be no time limit. But then. You know, we don't all have that time anymore, right. especially if we're getting ready for work in the morning. So yes. just a few, few minutes is great. But let me ask you about meditation. Mm-hmm. Is meditation almost like a, um, almost like a nap? Like I guess people, would, they, I guess they don't understand. For your med- brain. Mm-hmm. I, I guess they don't understand meditation. Like you say, you know, a lot of people think it's forty-five minutes. Like, do you hold a buzzer there? Like, you know, do you? Turn no, I do Like, you know, when do you come out of meditation? You know what I mean? Are so are people when you think of meditation? I think of a movie where I see people meditating, and they're and sitting like this. They're sitting like yeah. this, and and you know maybe that's not really meditation. It can be. It's different for everyone. Yeah, I know for myself that it. Like I said in the beginning, I had to listen to guided meditation. So there was somebody yeah, there me telling too. me when to start, and okay, now you're going to come back, come back up, yeah. and which helps. And then once you 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 start to practice that and you start to practice just being who you are that is that alone yeah, the, is a very yeah, hard feat and actually then the hardest thing with meditation is to just be quiet exactly you have to quiet your mind it's really hard to very do difficult. to think of nothing to, to think of nothing mm-hmm. how do you do that and how really I hard. that how I did you know learned was to um, listen to my breathing yes because I exactly. got in touch with who I am so and I do a count day. and I do a countdown mm-hmm. I do a countdown so that again. helps me too people the average person does not know how to breathe we don't mm-hmm. as a society do not know how to breathe anymore right. unless yeah. you understand these different do you things. hear the all the psychotherapists therapists what do they say breathe. and you, where do you see all these signs anymore breathe breathe, breathe. Because we it's take the short breaths. Yeah. You know, like, we get nervous. Yep. And we you, hold and a you breath. Know what? They say that, you know, people. We have a caller. We have a caller. Oh. Are you expecting a caller? <laughs> oh, are you expecting calling for you? <laughs> this is uh, WTR Radio. Uh, yeah, uh, we're watching uh, the uh, front row show, and uh, we're friends around it. Just wanted to give her a shout out and say she's still in. Doing a great job, and congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's well, so nice. Thank thank you. Who, who is this? Who is this? Well, it's Larry, Michelle, and Donna. We're all listening. I'm sorry? Larry, Michelle, and Donna. Oh, yeah. thank you. They were my students. <laughs> well, oh, thank how you nice so much. Uh, thanks for tuning thank in. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in to WTR Radio. <laughs> all right, thank you for having me on. Yep. <laughs> all right, bye-bye. Well, that's nice. That's great. That's beautiful. You know, so I think that, you know, like, really people, you know, 
I, I think people don't know how to breathe. You're right. And, and, and I think that they really, you know, you, you think about it, we're just so fast paced and they say that, that everybody's living longer. Right. I say over in Europe, yes, because, you know, in Europe, our European way of living, you know, your two hour lunches. I know, they you get have to take wine, six, yeah. weeks off for six weeks off for vacation. Right. We don't no have one works no. on Sunday. Yeah. Like, they literally shut yeah. down. Yeah. And I think that, I us, and, that you know, right us now. Americans, we really, really need to look at this because yeah. I think it's a way of, I think, I think being busy is okay because I know people that are in their 90s and still get up and they're on the sure. move all the time. I think mm -hmm. being busy like that's okay, but I think Not the, stress. To, the stress. The stress. Oh, stress. You know, we said yeah. we said on another show that it. You know, we can heal ourselves. If I cut myself with a knife on my top of my hand mm -hmm. because of a chili's on there, I'll probably break the knife. But, yeah, that's right. You know, but <laughs> <He's fully laughs> patchouli protect. protecting me. But no, you cut yourself. You, it's going to heal, mm -hmm. right? But that's an easy heal. When you have stress, no, that's, 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 that's the damaging thing because it does stuff to our bodies exactly. and then it's, it's too late. Right. You know, I think a lot of the stress causes a lot disease. of these diseases. It does. That's why they say is important. Cancer, yeah. They say that cancer is a disease of stress. Mm. Uh, uh, you know what? I believe yeah. that. Sure. But I also believe it's curable by getting healthy in mind. I do too. You know, you really have to be, you know, we had a, a doctor on one time and he said he walks in and he talks to patients and he almost can tell whether the patient's going to make it because of their spirit. Wow. Yeah. You know, he said some, He said he walked into this lady who like no way in the world by her chart mm -hmm. should be even alive wow. right. and he was like, this woman's going to live another 10, 15 years wow. and she was out of the hospital in like two weeks wow. because of her positive Way of that doing. means a lot. Yeah, it really, it really, it really, it really does. does. Um, I know someone who actually who is not doing so well physically, and um, when he talks in negative, it, it, I start words to see become goes down. deeds. Yes, you know? yes, and it, it really. really that's do. why positive affirmations mm -hmm. are very important. Very, so, very important. Yeah, you, Absolutely. You, you definitely, and and your mind. You know, we only use a very small percentage yes. of our brain, mm -hmm. they say. And once we're able to open it up more, I think you'll see a lot of these things, these diseases and everything. And then the opening up, away. yeah, the opening up can happen through meditation. It really That's can. true. Absolutely. It really can unlock other areas. It, uh, it opens sometimes things that you didn't necessarily want to be open, but it's okay because once you visit them and you can work on healing them, it makes you a better person. Yeah. And a healthier person. Exactly. And a healthier person. Mm -hmm. yeah, and for absolutely. business folks, you know what? You're able to make good business decisions because yeah. you're in a healthy state of mind. Right. right. With any decision. Yeah, with any decision. Right. Well, on that note, is there anything else you'd like to tell our listeners um, no, about one with spirit? Well, I can tell you that I know that I was put on earth in this time to bring healing to people. So it's a pleasure to be able to use the gifts that I've been blessed with that God has given me to help people. So that's really what this is all about. So if this is able to, if this tool by using radio and television mm -hmm. is a way to, you know, put that message out there even farther, then, then that is awesome. And it's a privilege. And it's been a privilege to have you Thank on you. my show. Thank, Thank you, so you so much for joining Thank us you. this afternoon. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Rhonda Magner, One with Spirit, and this is Charlene Chamberlain for Front Row. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. Thank you so much. I appreciate You're it. welcome.